Jamal Hodge, the kicker from Brush. And back to receive for Willoughby South, number 10, Drew Vilk. And number 16, Brady Nemisnik. Landon Brown. A 
the Yurks will have it at the 45. First down, Brush. down by Joe Medden. And penalty flags on the play. Looks like offsides against Willoughby South. That'll put the ball down at the 19 yard line. First and five. on the quarterback keeper close to another first down looks like just about a half yard short and in on the play that time was number 19 Gabe Hanslick handoff goes to Tanel Rose Forced out of bounds that time by number three, Joe Midden. But it will be enough for another Brusher first down. of a game that time, brought down by Jordan Ivey. Second down and still about 10. Out goes to Janelle Rose and he takes it down to about the five. With a host of Willoughby South tacklers in on the play. Actually, the ball is taken back to the 16 yard line. Thank you. 
MJ Russell on the quarterback keeper, brought down that time by number five, Quentin Wilson. It'll be third down and about 14. Pass is complete to TJ Williams, and he has forced out of bounds that time. Look like number 18, Mason Mastriano. Shy of the first down, so it'll bring up fourth down for the Arcs. Ball spotted on the eight yard line. So fourth down and seven. And the Brush Arcs will take a timeout. That will be their final timeout of the first half. So it'll be fourth down and seven when we come back. Don't forget, fans, to stop by the Brush PTSA concession stand. All of your food, snack, and beverage needs all in one place, just adjacent to the main scoreboard at the northwest corner of Cork Field. So fourth down for the Arcs inside the town. Let's hear it, Brush fans. Oh. Russell's pass is overthrown in the end zone. Looked like that was intended for Isaiah Parker. And it will be a turnover on downs to Willoughby South. First and ten for the Rebels at their own eight-yard line. Points pass is complete that time. Brought down, or actually it was complete to Brady Namasnik, but there is a penalty flag down. Looks like it'll be unnecessary roughness against Brush, so that's a 15 yard penalty. And that'll take the ball all the way up to the Willoughby South 36, where it'll be first down and 10. Liam Coyne's pass is complete to number 16, Brady Namasnik. 
Brought down that time by Ryan Lucas and Marlon Nesbitt. Another Willoughby South first down out to midfield. And a timeout for South. Hey fans, the U.S. Department of Transportation's National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has kicked off its annual Drive Sober or Get Pulled Over Labor Day National Enforcement Immobilization Campaign. The Lindhurst Police Department wants everyone to have a good time this weekend, but remember, arrive alive, don't drink and drive. First and ten for the Rebels at midfield. Liam Coyne's pass is complete to number two, Delon Moss. He's forced out of bounds that time by number 25, Jacob Perry, but it was enough for a Willoughby South first down. Down to the brush, 40. takes their final timeout of the first half. There was a loss on the play of 12 yards. All the way back to the South 48. Where it'll now be second down and 22. remain in the first half. expired in the first half, holding on Willoughby South, and that'll bring it in to the first half of play with your Brush Sharks 20 and Willoughby South 13.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to present the pride of South High, the 2023 Willoughby South High School Marching Band, under the field direction of Amber Kempert and Alana Estvander. This evening, we present the first two movements of our 2023 competition show entitled Waves. The first movement is titled The Calm Before, and the second is titled Agitation. with a hit by Fallout Boy from the movie Big Hero 6, Immortals.
The Pride of South High, the 2023 Willoughby South High School Marching Band. The band is under the direction of Fred Primavera with the assistance of Josh Woody, Allison Logan, and Charlie Sricard. The percussion is under the direction of Jeff Barnes, Holly Rahus, and John Albertone. The color guard is under the direction of Shannon Persons and Julia Hartley. The Pride of South High, the 2023 Willoughby South High School Marching Band. Gentlemen, the South Euclid Lyndhurst City Schools are proud to present the 2023 Brush Arcs Marching Band under the direction of John Schiff, Megan Paul, and John O'Brien. Tonight we are getting back to the music with songs from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Our opener was the winner of the 1999 Billboard Music Modern Rock Track of the Year. Only moderately successful at first, it later received mainstream success, peaking at 51 on the Billboard Top 100. Here is my own first enemy.
was written by Elton John and Bernie Tuppen and was released on the 1983 studio album Too Low for Zero. Tuppen's lyrics were directed at a former girlfriend to let her know he's doing just fine without her. Here is I'm Still Standing. The final song was recorded by the Swedish group ABBA. Released in 1978 at the height of the disco era, it perfectly captures the flair and feeling of the time. We close our show tonight with Dancing Queen.
Brush Arts Marching Band. Hey fans, let's give a big hand to our Brusher Marching Band and our cheerleaders. In the second quarter, Avon 14, Glenville 8. Third quarter, NBCL 17, Bedford 0. Third quarter score, Madison 14, Eastlake North 6. Third quarter score, Cleveland Heights 21, Hudson 17. Second quarter score, Kenston 42, Chagrin Falls 0. In the third quarter, Nordonia 21, Mayfield 14. Third quarter score, Mentor 17, Painesville Riverside 14. In the second quarter, Central Catholic of Pittsburgh, 33, St. Ignatius, 3. First quarter, Massillon Jackson, 14, Stowe Monroe Falls, 0. Final score, University School, 21, Bay Village, 17. Hey fans, SEO Appreciation Day at Legacy Village is on Saturday, September 30th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. A fabulous raffle with Legacy Village gift cards are being raffled off as prizes. Visit our website, that would be sel.k12.oh.us Visit that website to purchase raffle tickets being sold in advance. Several prizes will be awarded with the grand prize being $1,500 Legacy Village gift card. Make sure you buy yours.
Hey fans, with over 60 years of experience and more than 100 Cleveland area employees, Train is your local building technology and energy solutions leader, innovating for our customers and the climate. Make sure on your next project, you use Train. Rush will receive the second half kickoff. Number one, TJ Williams, and number seven, Chaz Brown, are back to receive for the Arcs. And kicking off for South, number 11, Tommy Volkert. T.J. Williams, the ball carrier for Brush on the return. Brought down that time by number three, Joe Medden. But Williams brings it out over the 30-yard line. Ball spotted at the 31. First down, Brush. MJ Russell on the quarterback keeper. That time the tackle was made by Joseph Porter of South. Ball is set down at the 35 yard line, pick up a four, second down six. Janelle Rose, the ball carrier, that time brought down by number two, Delon Moss. Also number 18, Mason Matriano. Rose brings it out to the 39-yard line. Brings up a third down in about two. MJ Russell on the quarterback keeper, but there is a penalty flag on the play, and it looks like holding against Brush.
Ball is set back to about the 31-yard line, the original line of scrimmage. Third down and about 10. Russell on the quarterback, keeper up over the 40 yard line, marked out at about the 42. Number six, Jordan Ivey on the play, but it is enough for a brush or first down. Ball at the 42. Janelle Rose, the ball carrier, he did fumble, but recovered on his own. After he picked up about three yards on the play, make it four, up to the 46. Second down and six. Rose again, the ball carrier for Brush. Knocked out of bounds at about the 49. In on the play that time were Joseph Porter, also Gabe Hanslick. It's gonna bring up third down and three for Brush. the ball carrier brought down by number 13 Brian Barter but it's another Brushar first down On the carry for Brush, number seven, Chaz Brown. And he takes the ball down to the 38 yard line. Again, another Brush Orc, first down. Chaz Brown again, the ball carrier. Shorter game this time. Brought down by number six, Jordan Ivey, and number nine, Joseph Porter. Ball at the 37 yard line. Gain of one, second down, nine. Quarterback keeper that time by M.J. Russell. Looks like he was taken down at about the 34. In on the play were Joe Medin and also Gabe Hanslick for the Rebels. And we've got a player down on the field. Hey fans, more football tomorrow as the Brush Arks JV team will be traveling out to Willoughby South. That game begins at 10 a.m. on Saturday. Brush at Willoughby South tomorrow morning. Third 
third down and about six for Brush. Pitch out goes to Janelle Rose. Huge real estate for the running back. Deep into Willoughby South Territory. Chase Gardner and Matt Safar in on the play. But it's another Brusher first down. MJ Russell, the ball carrier, into the end zone. Touchdown, Arks. Brush lines up for the two-point conversion attempt. TJ Williams, the ball carrier on the two-point conversion, falls short. So it's 6-12 remaining in the third quarter. Brush 26, Willoughby South 14. Number two, Jamal Hodge will be kicking off for a brush. All right, let's hear it for those combined cheerleaders from Willoughby South and Brush. Way to go, ladies. Darion Singleton and Mason Matriano back for Willoughby South. Kick is fumbled and loose on the field, but it looks like the Rebels recover. Willoughby South will put the ball in play on their own 35 yard line, first down and 10. Hand off that time to number 33, Cardario Williams. In on the tackle for Brush, number 54, Dylan Roddy. Also number 11, Israel Powers. Gain of about four on the play, so it'll be second down six for the Rebels. Uh-huh. 
Pass from Liam Coyne to number one, Terion Singleton, incomplete. In on the play for Brush, number 20, Aiden O'Neill. Brings up third down in about six. Liam Coyne's pass is complete to number 16, Brady Namasnik. And it looks to be enough for a Willoughby South first down. Ball on the 46. Liam Coyne's pass is complete. Catch that time by number two, Delond Moss. It is enough for a Rebel first down. And placed at the Brush 37. the ball that time to number two Delon Moss but he is brought down by Jacob Perry at about the 36 yard line and that'll bring up a second down eight correction second down nine Coins pass that time is complete. Caught by number one, Terry on Singleton. Brought down that time by TJ Williams. And the Rebels have a first down and driving against Brush at the 27. Cargario Williams, the ball carrier. Brought down that time by Leo Biggs. Down to the brush, 20, gain of seven, second down three. And we have whistles on the field, timeout brush. Arcs, timeout. Hey fans, are you ready to get behind the wheel of a new Nissan Altima for a thrilling test drive? Perhaps you just have questions about what comes standard on a new Nissan model. Regardless of your automotive needs, the team members at our Mayfield car dealership can answer them. Contact us today to get access to our high quality services, lucrative specials, and a wide variety of vehicles. That's Nissan of Mayfield. Yeah, Dad. Yeah. Hey. All right. Second down and three for Willoughby South. Cardario Williams, the ball carrier. Brought down by Dylan Roddy. And also John Sims appears just shy of a first down at the 19. You're 
Williams again the ball carrier. And he has enough for a Willoughby South first down. Dylan Roddy on the play, also John Sims. The Rebels will have it first down and 10 at the 13. Coins pass is complete to Delon Moss. Forced out of bounds by number 12, Marlon Nesbitt. And it looks to be a first down and goal at about the two for the Rebels. And we've got movement down the line. False start against Willoughby South. We'll put the back, put the ball back five yards to the seven yard line. First and goal from the seven. Delon Moss, the ball carrier, on the direct snap. Inside the five. Brought down by Leo Biggs of Rush. Ball is spotted on the one yard line for Willoughby South. And the one yard touchdown pass is completed from Liam Coyne to Delon Moss for the Rebel touchdown. And on to attempt the extra point, number 11, Tommy Vokit. Out of the hold of number 19, Gabe Hanslick. And the kick is up and is good. 2.07 remaining in the third quarter. Rush 26, Willoughby South 21. receive the kick for brush number one TJ Williams and number seven Chaz Brown and doing the kicking for the Rebels number 11 Tommy Bokick T.J. Williams on the return for Brush, but there are flags on the field. Brought down that time by number 10, Drew Vilk, as Williams returned the ball near the 30, but again, 
Penalty flags on the field. Holding is called against Brush, but it is declined. However, there is also a personal foul on Brush, and that will be assessed. And the ball is spotted on the 11 for a Brushork first down. Janelle Rose, the ball carrier. Takes it out to about the 14. Gain of three on the play, second down seven. Rose again, the ball carrier. Forced out of bounds that time by number 18. Mason Matriano. And it is enough for another Brushor first down. Ball spotted at the 25 yard line. Jazz Brown, the ball carrier for Brush. Breaks a tackle, but is brought down by number nine, Joseph Porter. Ball at about the 27. 28-yard line. Handoff goes to Chaz Brown in the middle of the south defensive line. Brought down that time by number 72, Raheem Jones and Joseph Porter in on the tackle. And that'll bring it in to the third quarter with the score, your Burr Shorts 26. Willoughby South, 21. Now it's time to announce your 50-50 winner. Check your tickets. The winning ticket is number 137786. 137786. Report to the press box to collect your winnings.
MJ Russell's pass is complete to number 17, Kevin Powell. Out to the 40 yard line. First down, Brush. Chaz Brown, the ball carrier, looks like he picked up about eight. Brought down that time by number 77, Luca Sorek, and number five, Quinton Wilson. Second down, two. Janelle Rose with the 52-yard touchdown run. Arks lining up for the two-point conversion. is unsuccessful with 10.48 left in the fourth quarter. Brush 32, Willoughby South 21. Once again, fans, we'd like to announce the winner of the 50-50 raffle. If you have ticket 137786, please report to the press box. 137 786. You are a winner. Back to receive the kickoff for Willoughby South, number one, Terion Singleton. Also number 10, Drew Vilk. Jamal Hodge kicking. Terion Singleton with the return. First out of bounds by number 13, Robbie Sims. Also number 24, Jordan Mitchell. The ball will be placed on the 39-yard line. First down, Rebels. Cardario Williams, the ball carrier for South, taken down by number 21, Leo Biggs. Gain of two on the play, second down, eight.
Coins pass is incomplete. Intended for number one, Darion Singleton. Third down and eight. Liam Coyne's pass is intended for Delon Moss, incomplete. And that'll bring up a fourth down and eight. Officials timeout on the field. Fourth quarter score, Avon 17, Glenville 16. Fourth down and eight. Coins pass is complete to number one, Terion Singleton. In on the play for Brush was number 15, Ryan Lucas, but it will be a first down for the Rebels. Ball carrier was Chase Gardner. A host of brush arcs in on the play. Gain of about four, second down six. That time, Coins pass is complete to Moss. Wrapped up and taken out of bounds by number 15, Ryan Lucas. It'll bring up a third down and four. Hand off that time to number seven, Chase Gardner. Brought down by Jacob Perry and Aiden O'Neill. Fourth and about one. And we have a timeout brush. Timeout arcs.
Fourth down and one. Penalty flags on the play. False start against Willoughby South. That'll push them back five yards and make it a fourth down and six. Come on, ARC fans, let's hear ya. but there are flags on the play. Brought down by number two, Delon Moss, and it'll come back. Holding against Brush. Spotted back on the 39 yard line. Should bring up a first down and about 14. for a brush arc first down. Brought down that time by Joseph Porter, or rather forced out of bounds. Arcs will put it in play at the Willoughby South 45. First down for Brush. <laughs> T 
Janelle Rose, the ball carrier, brought down by Luca Sorek. Looks like a gain of about three. And it brings up second down and seven. the ball carrier in on the play for South was Nico Frizzell also Joseph Porter but it'll be enough for a Vershaw first down Janelle Rose, the ball carrier. Penalty flags on the play. Brought down that time by number six, Jordan Ivy. But again, flags on the play. Looks to be holding on brush. take the ball back to the 42 yard line of Willoughby South. First and 19. Janelle Rose, the ball carrier, fighting for yards. Brought down that time by number three, Joe Medden. Rose takes it down to the 33-yard line. That'll bring up a second down 10. the ball carrier brought down by Luca Sorek. Takes it to the south 29 yard line. Third down and a long five. Chaz Brown, the ball carrier. Ball is placed at the 30. Fourth down and six. And closer to seven. Thank you. 
MJ Russell on the quarterback keeper will come up short and the Arcs will turn over the ball on downs. Willoughby South will take over on their own 27 yard line. First down. Liam Coyne's pass is intended for number two, Delon Moss, but incomplete. Brings up a second down 10. Liam Coyne's pass is intended for number 11, Tommy Bokick, and overthrown, so that'll bring up third down and 10. Liam Coyne's pass is complete to number 18, Mason Matriano. And it's enough for a Rebel first down up to the 41-yard line. And this time Coyne's pass is off in the right flat but falls incomplete. Second down, 10. Coyne's attempt was looking for number four, Nico Frizzell, and that falls incomplete, so third down. And 10 to go. Coins pass is complete to number one, Terrion Singleton in the brush territory at the 48. First and 10 for the Rebels. <laughs> Liam Coins pass intended for Delon Moss, incomplete out of bounds. In on the defensive play, Bryce Rucker. And Liam Coyne is trapped in the backfield. Not sure if the pass was actually credited. 
it was ruled an incomplete pass. So the ball remains at the 48 yard line, third down. And the pass is complete to number two, Delon Moss, deep into our territory before number 25, Jacob Perry, makes the play. But it'll be a first down at the arc 25. <laughs> Liam Coyne looking for number one, Carry on Singleton, overthrown, incomplete, second down 10. No good. 149 remaining. Brush 32. Willoughby South 27. Kicking off for Willoughby South, number 11, Tommy Bokick. Back to receive the kick for Brush, Tanel Rose. whistles on the play. And 
Brush will put the ball in play at their own 46 yard line. First down, Arks. Janelle Rose, the ball carrier for Brush, and penalty flags on the play. Looks to be a penalty assessed against the Brush sideline. taken back to the 36 yard line of Brush. And uh, whistles again on the field. Timeout Willoughby South, Rebels timeout. In the fourth quarter, Cleveland Heights 27, Hudson 17. Fourth quarter, Madison 27, Eastlake North 13. Janelle Rose, the ball carrier for Brush, takes it out over midfield to the Willoughby South 49-yard line. Second down and five. Willoughby South timeout, correction third down at five.
Rose, the ball carrier for Brush. Timeout, Willoughby South. Rebels timeout. Hey, Brush fans, next week the Arcs will travel to East Lake North to take on the Rangers. That will be next Friday night, September the 8th at 7 p.m. Carter Stadium in East Lake. to the five yard line. First and goal. Two-point conversion attempt. And the pass is incomplete. 35 seconds remaining. Will be south 33, rush 32.
Kicking off for Willoughby South, number 11, Tommy Hokick. will have the ball first and ten at their 14 yard line. Ball at the 13 yard line. against Willoughby South for unsportsmanlike conduct. Takes the ball back to the 22. And that'll be the final point of tonight's game. Rush in the South Euclid Winter School District. We'd like to thank you all for coming out tonight and supporting high school athletics and your Brush Arcs. Make sure you're with us again in two weeks when the Arcs host the Bedford Bearcats right here at Corn Field, September the 15th at 7 p.m. Once again, thank you. Please. Drive home safely.